The race to find a vaccine for coronavirus didn't start in a lab. It started on a computer. So this is the DNA of coronavirus? Yes, it wow. is. Wow. Within weeks of the outbreak, the coronavirus DNA had been read and put online for scientists across the world to access. Like many others, the Cambridge team has been using it to find out exactly what they're up against. The sequence in, helps us to understand how the virus actually looks um, in terms of its physical properties. And that's really important because the spike protein that you see around the edge of the virus, um, that is what we need the antibodies to attach to, to prevent the virus from entering our cells. That's interesting. So these letters give you a picture, Absolutely. a picture of what it looks like and how you can attack it. Yes. Things then move into a tightly sealed lab. They haven't got the actual virus in here yet. Their early tests are done on safer, man-made copies of parts of the virus. This is a highly restricted lab. Very few people are allowed inside, and we are not allowed inside. But we are going to be able to talk to Jonathan, who's leading the research, uh, using a bit of technology to get hold of him. Jonathan, hi, can you hear me? Nice to see you. Are you collaborating with other people around the world? I mean, are all you know, experts like you chatting online and, and sort of sharing ideas about what to do next? Absolutely. This is, this is a huge global effort. I was in Australia, in, in Geelong. Um, I was in British Columbia. I've been in the US. Um, and we're having teleconferences daily on the, the state of the situation, um, the variability, uh, the transmission dynamics, and really um, trying to get as much information from the epidemic that will help us develop the very best vaccine as quickly as possible. Have you ever known anything like this in your career, in terms of the speed it's happened? No, this is really, really unique. It certainly has spread globally very, very quickly, and it's caught everybody off, off guard. They've already begun testing possible coronavirus vaccines on animals, but to be sure it's safe and effective, it could be next summer before a human version is finally approved. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.